Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be talking about Periscope. Periscope is a brand new application from Twitter that allows you to broadcast live video to anyone. The past month, another live streaming application has become very popular. It's called Meerkat. Thanks to South by Southwest and a handful of celebrity backers, a Meerkat is what everyone's been talking about. So Twitter has now released Periscope as a competitor to Meerkat. So I'm going to show you a few of the features that separate it from Meerkat. When you first enter Periscope, Periscope, you'll need to log in with your Twitter account. The application will then suggest people to follow according to popularity and to who you follow on Twitter. Once that's set, you can go through your timeline and tap on a video to watch it. So here you can see huge blocks and I can tap on them to watch a video and these are other ones that you can also tap on to watch a video. So I'm going to tap on this. It's called Madness at Port Authority and the video will begin shortly. Here you can see the live video and if you scroll here, you can see where it's taking place and you can see the people that are viewing it live. You can also swipe and check out people that join as well as people that like the video. And you can also comment by going in here and just writing something. If you want to create your own video, you can tap on this and then you can give it a title and then you can select whether you want the location to be saved, whether you want it to be private and whether you want a link to be sent out to your Twitter so that other people can view your broadcast live. All right, so now we're outside, so I'm just going to give it a title. I'm just going to call it uh, Wonder How to Office, and I'm going to start the broadcast. And the video is now live, so I'm just going to record. And if any viewers follow your feed, you'll be able to see that. You can double tap on the camera to flip it. Here you can see people viewing my post. And then you can swipe down to stop the broadcast. From there, you'll be able to save the video to your camera roll and check out your retention rate and how many viewers viewed your video. So what separates Periscope from Meerkat is that you can watch a video even after it's gone down. So with Meerkat, once a live video goes down, you can't watch it. With this one, you can. So here are some recent videos that I've watched. So let's say I want to watch this video again, which was how to clean an iPhone. I can just press play and the video will play. This video was live a few hours ago. It's no longer live, but I can still watch it. And even though the application is very new, it already has a lot of people on it active. It's all thanks to Twitter. So just test it out and let us know what you think about Periscope. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks, guys.